Okie doke. Now let's look at something that's extremely interesting, and that is the following. Watch this. I'll select these three regions. These are my three audio takes, uh, which, let's say, for the sake of argument, are all vocals. Okay, watch this. Command F. F for folder. Ready? Command F. Ah, there you go. I have now packed those three audio recordings and it will pack whatever I select. It's packed them into this folder and created a folder track which I can then double click and title vocals and spell it completely wrong because it's 20 to 4 in the morning. Right, there we go, vocals. Okay, so this is my vocals folder, and inside this folder, if I double click it, I'm now inside the folder, and there is my three bits of audio, that I, the ones that I highlighted and packed, with their, with copies of their original tracks. And if I bring in the inspector column, you can see this creamy male lead, male creamy lead vocal track has got all the correct channel settings. Okay as the others would have as well if I'd assigned any to them. Okay, So I shall hide the inspector column. So these tracks I'm now inside the folder and this up arrow icon at the end there leave folder has become ungrayed out okay and I use that to step back up out of my folder. Okay, So this folder contains the contains copies of these three tracks with the exact same settings and everything but now all packed neatly into this folder. There they are look. That leaves my original three tracks free with the exact same settings still retained for me to record more audio and I will have the same channel strip settings to match the ones that have been packed should I need to record more. Okay, but for now all those vocals live in there and they still play, but I can mute the whole lot. Or I can move the whole lot around. Or I can shorten or lengthen or whatever, right? <coughs> and quantize it or whatever I like. Um, now, this leaves you some options for unpacking. We've got these three original tracks are left outside the folder and it makes copies inside the folder to allow those selected audio regions we've packed to play correctly. When I come to unpack the folder there's two ways of doing it. I can unpack back to the original tracks which is useful if I have not recorded anything new on these tracks. I just want to simply unpack the folder. So to do that I simply go Alt Command and U for unpack and it unpacks the tracks back onto their original tracks and I can no longer access the folder and this folder thing is greyed out because we're outside the folder now right but the folder is now empty so double clicking it nothing I can repack the folder by highlighting those three regions I'm just doing command U I mean command F for folder and unfortunately it now packs them into a new folder okay um, not a huge problem because you couldn't really design a system where you could designate which folder to pack them into if you've packed them, unpacked them and as an empty folder so that's just a consequence of the way it works I'm afraid so I'll um, again alt command to and U to unpack them to the original tracks sorry come on alt command U oh, I've got to I like the folder. Alt Command U, and I've unpacked them. And now I can delete this folder track by highlighting it and going Track Delete. So packing folders. I'll delete that one as well. Okay. So let's start that and show you one more time. I highlight the audio that I want to pack. Do Command F, and it packs them into a folder and makes copies of the tracks so they can play correctly. This step up leave folder icon is no longer greyed out when I'm inside a folder and I can step up out of that folder. This folder will play unless I mute it and I can move it around anywhere I like. The original three tracks are there for me to record new content onto with exactly the same channel strip sounds to match what's been packed and when I unpack them 
I can either unpack them to the original tracks, have I not recorded anything new on those tracks, or I can use just Command U instead of Alt Command U. If I use Alt Command U, it unpacks to the original tracks. If I use Command U, it unpacks to three brand new tracks, which is useful if you've now, uh, since packing that folder, have recorded new things on the tracks that were left outside the folder. All right. So I can now just to get rid of these tracks. I'll choose delete unused. And uh, for some reason it hasn't deleted that one, so I'll just delete that one. And we're back where we started with the three tracks with, this, with the recordings on them. So do you understand? That's kind of how folders work. Um, but I'll tell you what the best thing about folders is, is once you get further into your arrangement, let's say this and a few more tracks besides, let's say that is my basic verse groove living over two bars. I can then simply highlight the whole bloody lot and do Command F, pack it all into a folder and that folder is my entire verse groove. Okay, if I bring up the inspector column with this folder highlighted, I can rename it by double clicking that and I can call that verse groove. And bugger me, we found another bug, have we? No, there we go. I should have clicked um, enter afterwards. Hang on, I'll do that again. Verse groove enter. There we are, and now this is my first group, and do you see, if I'm now working on building my arrangement, which is in dance music, you often work that way, you create a groove and then you want to make that into a linear song, so I can create all my different parts, and then this is my entire first groove, which I can move around and build into an arrangement by simply copying, oops, ah, bloody hell. I went into the folder by mistake. Hang on. I want to Alt. I can copy that like that as many times as I like. And each of these blocks is simply my entire verse groove, which is in, which is inside there, all playing away. I mean, that's just so easy then to build your arrangement because this can be a verse groove. You can have another folder which is your chorus groove, or you can have you know one folder that is your drums and another folder which is your synths and you can just drag all those blocks around and, and create arrangements so easily out of these fundamental blocks that contain entire bits of music with many tracks on them inside yeah very very clever so that's folders which we'll come to in a bit more depth when we get into showing you how to build a song <laughs>